New at six video you have to see while we're talking about people venturing out. This guy, look at this. This guy catching a flight from New York to Charlotte dressed in a full hazmat suit complete with a respirator. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris asked him why he took his safety to the extreme. You know, these days, medical professionals say that there is no such thing as going overboard. You have to do what makes you feel most protected when you leave the house. So for this artist currently living in New York, that meant flying down to Charlotte in a splatter painted hazmat suit. Um, at least down here in South Kakalaki uh, or in North Kakalaki, we can take a car to go somewhere else. And a lot of people don't have that option in New York. Trip Derek Barnes says he was quarantined in New York for 60 days. It takes a mental toll on you. I was like, I need to get out of here. So he decided to fly down to his home state of South Carolina. And if I took the right precautions, then it should be safe. And by precautions, he means a splatter painted hazmat suit. I just painted it for fun. Like, I don't want to scare people, right? I want people to like, like it and enjoy it. And for the most part, Barnes says they did. When I was walking down the aisle, I mean, people were howling, people were laughing. Mentally, we have to continue to live our lives. We can't stay inside and hide. Nurse practitioner Vera Rivera says the amount of precautions you should take depends on your risk factors. I think people need to do what they need to do at this time, and we have to be very accepting. Barnes says his health was the real reason for wearing the suit. I have Lyme's disease, so my immune system is, is not so great. So I wasn't taking any chances. And because of how much car rentals have scaled back, Barnes says he had to go from the plane to an Uber. As long as the driver cleans the back, I don't see it being too big of a deal. Rivera says it is safe enough if you sit in the back and protect yourself. As long as you have a mask on and you have access to either hand sanitizer or wipes, you're fine. Now, as we begin to enjoy more freedom, Rivera says that protecting your face is going to be critical, especially for those with underlying conditions, because you never know who around you may be asymptomatic. Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.